What's up, friends? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know, you know, you know. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hook a brother up. Hit the like button. Hey, it all helps. Every little bit helps. So, uh, it's been one of them crazy days. We've had all kinds of stuff. The NFL ends up paying $790 million to settle a lawsuit from St. Louis versus the Rams. We have CeeDee Lamb back at practice and things. We had Jerry Jones pissed off about Amari Cooper. And now, and now, we have, after having our, our, our taste buds, you know, just like, 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 just wet and juicy with the idea, just salivating about the idea of Demarcus Lawrence actually getting back. We just been going crazy, hoping. We've been hearing, he's close, he's close, he's close. We've been hearing he's close for like a month now. Well, I guess this isn't like horseshoes and hand grenades where close is good. You know, if you're close with horseshoes, you can be a winner. If you're close with a hand grenade, you'll definitely do some damage. In football, being close doesn't help you. So he's beyond close now. He's actually there. That's right. Demarcus Lawrence is practicing. Not a game, not a game yet. We talking about practice and has now been activated into the 21-day um, window of playing. What does that mean? Does that mean he's going to play tomorrow? Does that mean he's going to play tomorrow? Oh, my God. Tank Lawrence. We get an extra boost on the defense is playing great. No. Because he's been gone for so long, he's not going to be activated for tomorrow's game. Just not. Uh, it's not, not going to happen that soon. It, it just won't. One practice and then playing in a game, no, they won't do that. Um, but this is the start of getting him in. So maybe next week against the Raiders. And this is where um, the Cowboys, you know, this is the rough stretch for us. Regardless of what people say about the Cowboys and things like that, the next three games after this one are away games. And playing in in the NFL on the road, getting a victory is hard. I don't care what team it is. If you look at Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay has been bludgeoning people at home. They've been destroying them. On the road, not so much. I mean, they lost to Washington at FedEx Field. Yeah, the defending Super Bowl champions. So playing on the road is not where you want to be, but it's what you got. So we'll see how we do, but definitely getting these reinforcements. And this is where, you know, the Cowboys lost to Kansas City, being down a lot of players. But over the course of these last seven games, the Cowboys will be getting back a lot of firepower. You're going to get back Randy Gregory. You're going to get back Brent Urban. You're going to get back Demarcus Lawrence. And this rotation is going to be able to keep people fresh on the field to do that damage. And you're also going to be getting back, of course, Amari Cooper. You're going to be getting back at Blake Jarwin. As these guys come back, and if we can keep Tyron Smith on the field, if they're playing and playing together as a team, that's a whole lot to try and stop, y'all. I mean a whole hell of a lot to try and stop. All right, speaking of stopping, I'm about to stop here at Lowe's so I can get my wood and get back to the shop because the last few days, it's been crazy how much shit has been going on. It's just a whole lot of shit going on with my Dallas Cowboys. But I'm keeping you, no matter where I am, up to speed. Peace.